Hello everyone, this is Dan, but it's on the card now. Today we're reading Jeremiah 21 from the New National Version, also known as NIV version. If you guys want to be along, you guys can go to Classic Bible Gate. Hey, you guys can go to my Bible Gate to the more. You guys can go to my bottom like yeah, how you guys end up. Let's go and get started. Jeremiah 31, New National Version, NIV version. At that time, declares the Lord, I will be the God of all the families of Israel, and they will be my people. That's what the Lord says. The people who survive the sword will find favor in the wilderness. I'll come to give rest to Israel. The Lord appeared to us in the past, saying, I've loved you with an everlasting love. I've drawn you with un unfailing kindness. I'll bid build you up again. A new virgin Israel will be rebuilt. Again, you will take up your timbrels and you go out to dance with the joyful. And again, you'll plant vineyards in the hills of Samaria. The farmers will plant them and enjoy their fruit. There will be a day when watchmen cry out on the hills of Ephraim, Come, let us go up to Zion to the Lord our God. This is what the Lord says. Sing of joy for Jacob. Shout for the foremost of the nations. Make your praises heard and say, the Lord, save your people, the remnant of Israel. See, I'll bring them from the land of the north and gather them from the ends of the earth. Among them will be the blind and the lame, expectant mutters and women in labor. A great throng will return. They will come with weeping. They will pray as I bring them back. I will lead them beside streams of water on a level path where they will not stumble because I am Israel's father. And Ephraim is my firstborn son. Hear the word of the Lord, you nations. Oh, sorry, guys. Proclaim it in distant coastlands. He who scattered Israel will gather them and will watch over his flock like a shepherd. For the Lord will deliver Jacob and redeem them from the hand of the hand of those stronger than they. They will come and shout for joy on the heights of Zion. They will rejoice in the bounty of the Lord and grain the new wine and the olive oil, the, the young of the flocks and herds. They will, they will be like a well-watered garden and they will sorrow no more. Then young women will dance and be glad. Young women and the old as well. I'll turn their mourning into gladness. I'll give them comfort and joy instead of sorrow. I'll satisfy the priests of abundance. And my people will be filled with my bounty, declares the Lord. This is what the Lord says. A voice is heard in Roma, mourning and great weeping. Rachel, yeah, <laughs> Rachel weeping for her children and refusing to be comforted because they are no more. This is what the Lord says. Restrain your voice from weeping and your eyes from tears. For your work will be rewarded, declares the Lord. They will return from the land of the enemy. So there is hope for your descendants, declares the Lord. Your children will return to their own land. I surely heard you from this morning. You dis disciplined me like an unruly calf. And I've been disciplined. And I've been disciplined. Restore me and I'll return because you're the Lord my God. After I said, I repented. And I came. after I came to understand, I beat my breast. I was ashamed and humiliated because I bore the disgrace of my youth. It is not Ephraim, my dear son, the child in whom I delight, though I often speak against him, I still remember him. Therefore my heart yearns for him. I have great compassion for him, declares the Lord. Set up road signs, put up guideposts, take note of the highway. The road that you take, return, virgin Israel, return to your towns. How long will you wander, unfaithful daughter Israel? The Lord will create a new thing on earth. The woman will return to the man. And so the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says, When I bring them back from captivity, People in the land of Judah and in its town will once again use these words. The Lord bless you, you, you prosperous city, you, sac you sacred mountain. People live together in Judah and all its towns, farmers and those who move about with their flocks. I'll refresh the weary and satisfy the faint. Now this I awoke and looked around. My sheep have been pleasant, pleasant to me. The days are coming to close the Lord when I'll plant the kingdoms of Israel and Judah with the offspring of people and of animals just as, as I watched over them to uproot and tear them, tear them, tear down. Is overthrow, destroy, and bring disaster. So I'll watch over them to build and to plant, declares the Lord. In those days, people will no longer say the parents have eaten sour grapes and the children's teeth are set on edge. Instead, everyone will die for their own sin. Whoever eats sour grapes, their own teeth will be set on edge. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when I'll make a new covenant with the people of Israel and the people with the people of Judah. It will not be like the covenant covenant I made with their ancestors when I took them up by the hand to lead them out of Egypt. Because they broke my covenant, though I was a husband to them, declares the Lord. This is the covenant I'll make with the people of Israel after that, after that time, declares the Lord. I'll put my law in their minds and write it on their hearts. I'll be their God, and they'll be my people. No longer will they teach their neighbor or say to one another, and know the Lord, because they all will know, they will all know me. From the least of them to the greatest, declares the Lord. For I'll forgive their wickedness and will remember their sins no more. That's what the Lord says. He who appoints the sun to shine by day, who decrees the moon and stars to shine by night, who stirs up the sea so that its waves roar. The Lord Almighty is his name. Only if these decrees vanish from my sight, declares the Lord, will Israel ever cease being a nation before me. This is what the Lord says. Only if the heavens above can be measured and the foundations of the earth below be searched out, will I reject all the descendants of Israel because of all they have done. Declares the Lord, the days are coming, declares the Lord, and this city will be rebuilt for me from the tower of 
kind of nail into the corner gate. <coughs> Sorry, guys. The measuring line will stretch from there straight to the hill of Goreb and then turn to Goam. The whole valley where dead bodies and ashes are thrown. And all the terraces out to the Kidron Valley on the east as far as the corner of the horse gate will be holy to the Lord. The city will never again be uprooted or demolished. Okay, guys, I hope that you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.